First of all, you need to think about what you want. That, what I said before, what does flexibility mean to you? And then you need to find the right company that fits. Because in in the you know, if you look at your working mother 100 list. Um, those big companies, while they might have some programs in place, you're, you know, if you're talking about flexibility or are you talking about part-time, what, what are the things you're talking about? Because the, there are going to be different things. You know, smaller companies, um, you know, we work with companies all the way from the companies that are on that list down to, you know, one and two people kind of businesses. And the smaller they are, um, you know, whether it be tiny or even mid-sized businesses, the more flexibility we see um, where you can actually, because they don't have a policy, right? So these big companies, they have, which is nice because you could see, okay, I get, you know, I can work four days a week. That's on their thing you're allowed to do. Or I can, you know, they have a list. But sometimes it's nice to have a place where you don't have to have a, a set policy that you can actually find something that mutually works for both of you. So I think the, the most important thing is to figure out what you want. And then there's every option out there. It's just finding the right company for you. So what could that look like? What do we place? What do we see? Um, you know, there could be, uh, you know, full-time position with no travel. There could be four days a week. There could be um, part-time. There could be, uh, you know, one day a week you work from home or all the time you work from home. I mean, there's every option out there. Um, and and the problem is, you know, and so are you, you're here in Boston. So you just talk to my friend Nadia, who's two seats over from you because she runs our Boston office. But, um, you know, there, there are so many many options that, that once once you know what works for you, then you start to look at it. Now, I wouldn't say um, go into a company and demand, this is what I need, right? You need to make sure it works for both sides. Because if you go into some big company and their expectations are that you're there from 8 o'clock to 6 o'clock every single day and you cannot leave at any time to go to your kid's school or doctor's appointments or whatever, and you come in and say, hey, but I'm a working mom and I expect flexibility. Well, you're not going to get that job, but you don't want that job. So, you, you know, you need to figure out what do you want and then really do some research on the companies. If you want to be in a big company, look at the working mother list. If you want to be in a smaller company, really think about, you know, talk to, look at, look at especially, you know, your, your um, what's it called here? The, yeah, the Boston Business Journal Book of Lists. You know, they'll have the top 100 fastest growing companies, the the best small businesses. You know, all the different lists, and and target the companies that you know are going to fit within your needs for flexibility.